Hello, I'm Alex Yosef from Drop365. Microsoft Teams is a very familiar productivity tool or platform for most of the businesses and organizations today. Many of us use them daily too. In this video, I will show you how to pop out chats, app, and tabs in Microsoft Teams. By popping out individual chats with your teammates, you can actually make sure that uh, along with chatting with your team, you can actually take care of other things such as uh, checking out channels and uh, checking out the meetings, calendar updates, etc. So uh, let's start from uh, one of the chats from one of my teammates who are here. So here, this is a, actually a separate one-on-one uh, -on -one chat with one of my colleagues, Jewel. So if I want to uh, pop out this uh, chat as a separate window, uh, all I can do uh, is to just click on the pop out chat icon from the top right corner. Here it is. Just click on the pop out chat and this particular chat will actually open in a separate window. Here it is. This allows me to uh, go to other uh, chats or, or team meetings, or if I want to check if there is a, a calendar update, if there are any uh, marketing updates in the calendar, I can choose that and I can easily switch to the uh, chat which you are in this separate window. So uh, that gives me a lot of comfortable uh, or flexibility when it comes to doing things. And uh, this is one way to pop out chat. And other than this, uh, what I can do is, I can just click on the chat uh, from the left bar and choose which user I want to pop out a chat window with. Say if I wish to, uh, pop out a chat with others, you can just click on the, double click on the chat here, double click on others and there will be a new uh, chat window open here. That's very simple actually. Uh, and, and, and another method to do this is just choose others and you can see the pop out chat icon here. Simply click on it and it will also pop out this uh, separate window. There's one more method you can uh, use or follow to do this. Uh, just click, double click on others uh, profile picture. It will also uh, trigger a separate pop-out chat window. So that's a very simple and easy process. Uh, only thing you, you need to uh, be aware is that uh, you can only uh, pop out the same window once. You cannot pop out a window twice at the same time. So I can only pop out others, uh, chat with others uh, only once. If I try to do this anymore, I will just be directed to the same window itself. On the other side, I can actually uh, pop out chats with other users. So uh, let's uh, pop out another chat window with Jewel 2. So let's see how uh, both of it looks. So uh, now I do, I now have uh, both the windows open side by side. So I can easily chat with both of them uh, along with uh, checking what's happening in the uh, main screen of my Microsoft Teams platform too. So uh, along with uh, popping out this window, I can actually resize them to any size I wish. I can reposition them to any of the uh, sides of the screen. I can actually maximize them. I can minimize them and also close them by clicking on the uh, close uh, option. So this is how you can actually uh, pop out chat windows separately in uh, Microsoft Teams uh, platform. So that's uh, how it works. And next thing you can do is actually uh, to pop out apps in Microsoft Teams. So for that, you need to uh, actually pin apps into your left side bar in Microsoft Teams platform. So here I have actually uh, pinned my 
a planner app here, uh, which is tasks. Actually for that, if you have pinned app here, you can just click right click on them and choose the pop out app option. So it will actually open up in a new uh, separate window. So uh, you can just do everything you want to do with this app uh, by uh, within this uh, new pop out window without uh, closing or getting redirect from your uh, main screen. So that's a very good functionality there. And uh, next thing you can do is to uh, pop out any of your uh, tabs in your marketing channel. So for that, let's go to one of our, our teams, um, which the marketing team of this. Also, this will be the right channel to demonstrate that. So we have a uh, tab called SEO tasks here. So to pop out this particular tab into a new or separate window, or just go to that tab and choose this pop out icon from the right side top bar. So that just click on it. And so that uh, it will open up into a, a different tab over here. Sorry, a new a window, separate window. So uh, you can actually keep checking on or processing tasks inside this app tab, or you can simply go to any other chats uh, in your main Microsoft Teams tab. And you can easily switch between them too. So uh, this actually makes a lot of sense. It gives you the ability to perform more actions you can view different tasks side by side and get things, a lot of things together. You can uh, actually do more with your Microsoft Teams platform. It gives you the ability to multitask. Uh, that's a very super power uh, in this time. So let me close all of these uh, windows. And uh, I would like to introduce to uh, one more uh, feature or command that's the uh, slash pop. Um, come and just click on just uh, enter slash pop and click enter so that it will uh, ask you with whom you wish to uh, pop out a uh, chat window. Uh, let's use uh, Justin here. So I'm choosing Justin. So what it will do is it will actually create uh, or pop out a new chat window with that particular user. So uh, that's also a very useful way to pop out uh, a chat window in Microsoft Teams platform. Mm -hmm. uh, one another thing I would like to show you is uh, uh, how uh, the calls and meetings of your Microsoft Teams platform actually uh, pops out. Uh, the meetings and calls in your Microsoft Teams platform actually pop out uh, by default. Uh, later, it, it, it was uh, docked in, into your uh, Microsoft Teams main uh, screen itself. But uh, as of now, you will be actually uh, took to a, uh, there will be a pop out window for calls and meetings by default. So it is actually a good thing. It allows you to uh, do more things even while you are attending a call or meeting. So let's uh, join a uh, meeting first and let me show you how it triggers a new pop-out window. So this meeting is going to be in a new window. So along with attending the meeting, you can actually uh, check out your conversations uh, within your teammates or group chats, etc. So uh, this is the uh, team uh, meeting window actually. If I wish to check out any other chat along with this, I can just minimize it and go to the chat section and see, uh, check out the uh, features or chat history or any files which uh, they have shared with me. So uh, that's a fantastic feature. Uh, that's how the uh, meetings and calls uh, actually work. This applies to all kinds of calls and uh, meetings. Uh, let me show you by calling uh, one of our guests here. This is actually an invalid user right now, but uh, I would like to 
show you how calls uh, by default trigger a pop-up window. So when you call something, someone, uh, this window will appear and your calls will be happening in a separate uh, window. So that's a very fantastic feature uh, which you would you would, you will see or get to use in Microsoft uh, Teams uh, platform. We also have a very detailed blog in this topic. So in that blog, you will get to know uh, more facts and uh, detailed information about how uh, the pop-out feature works in different instances. Do check it out by going to the link we, we have added in the uh, description just below this uh, video. Hope this video helps you to make the most of the Microsoft Teams platform. Start using the pop-out feature and do more with your Teams platform. Have a good day.